This week, updates coming soon to lead capture, communication, and conversion. Hey everyone, I'm Kaz Lim, Program Lead for APIs integrations here at Vendasta. I'm excited to give you a preview of new features coming to the Vendasta platform very soon. Before we get into upcoming releases, I want to let you know about a limited time promotion being offered by a marketing services team. For the month of March only, they're giving away a free three-page website with every 12-month commitment of Google Business Profile Optimization and SEO-enhanced blogs. This means that for just $179 US dollars per month, our team will build a brand new three-page website and start driving traffic to it with curated blogs and Google Business Profile Optimizations. This is the perfect way to set up your new clients for success online, and marketing services is here to help you do just that. Get in touch with your sales representative or visit vendasta.com slash March promo today. Inbox Pro helps local businesses provide a great customer experience by centralizing communication from multiple sources in one place. And new channel integrations are almost here. Currently with Inbox Pro, a small business's team members can respond quickly to any inquiries coming in from the website, SMS or Google Business. There's no risk of new messages going unnoticed and new contacts are automatically added to their CRM in business app. The team has been working hard to bring more channels into the central communication hub. Within the next few weeks, two new channels will become available to SMBs, Facebook, business messages, and email. An important note, Currently, Business App users have been given a default email address in the domain smblogin.com. This default domain is going to be changing in the coming weeks to businessapp.io. Emails sent from the upcoming email feature of the inbox will use this new gray label domain by default. At a later date, businesses will be able to set their own custom domain. Speaking of centralized communication, some businesses have more than one location. How might a team manage customer communication for all locations from a centralized place? Inbox is coming to multi-location. A single inbox can show all the conversations from all locations with Inbox Pro Active, so a team can easily manage communication across many locations from one place. AI web chat, Google business messages, SMS, and soon Facebook and email too, for many locations in a single inbox. How exciting! Do you have multi-location clients using Inbox Pro that would be interested in early access to multi-location? Fill out the form in the description to sign up. When connecting a client's QuickBooks account to Business App for the first time, their contacts in QuickBooks Online will soon be created in their Business App CRM automatically. If the contact already exists in the CRM, it'll be updated. This automated one-way sync saves time and reduces the risk of errors, ensuring that contact data is accurate and consistent across both platforms. You and your clients will also have full control over which entities, such as contacts, invoices, sales receipts, and payments, are synced to the Business App CRM. These can be selected during connection and edited at any time through the Manage Integrations page. These updates are coming at the end of March, so not long to wait. When you're prospecting, it's helpful to know more than just the basics of where a business is located and what types of products and services it provides. Getting a sense of their digital performance, such as if they have a website, if they have claimed their Google business profile, and their Google review rating can help you identify where your expertise can have an impact and determine whether or not a prospect is worth pursuing. Finding that information can also be time consuming. That's why I'm super excited about the new experience coming to the CRM Partner Center to help you find new leads. Clicking on Find Nearby Businesses will allow you to search for a certain business type, such as restaurants or furniture stores, and identify top prospects with a quick glance as you scroll through the results. Maybe you'll see that some have only a handful of reviews, but the average rating is good, and you could help them strengthen their online reputation with Reputation Management Premium. Or maybe there are some that haven't claimed their Google Business Profile yet, and you could help them get found by more people with local SEO. Select and create them as companies in your CRM in two clicks. Then you're ready to run a snapshot report to prepare your pitch before reaching out by email, SMS, or phone. How awesome is that? It should be available in the main company's table later this month. Finding leads can be a challenge, but so can determining how to prioritize nurturing the lead that you have in play. This is where lead scoring comes in, and it's coming to the CRM in both Partner Center and Business App, so your clients will be able to use it too. Previously, your salespeople could use the hotness rating in Sales and Success Center to assess a lead's readiness to buy. With the new lead scoring, you'll be able to configure a set of scoring rules to prioritize a list of leads to work on. Rules can be based on engagement, such as if they've opened emails and marketing campaigns you've sent them, or details like what's in their tech stack. This should come available sometime in April, so stay tuned. 
When you're billing customers using subscription billing, you'll soon be able to add a discount that will show on the invoice so your clients can clearly see the full value of what they're getting and any breaks provided on pricing. You'll be able to give each discount a custom name and set it to reduce the invoice's total by a percentage or a set amount and specify the duration. Some discounts might be offered indefinitely, but some might be part of special promotional offers for new clients that you might want to apply to, say, the first six months of their subscription. This could come available as soon as March 15th, so be sure to catch our video next week. And if you're thinking you'd like to add the discount at time of order creation, rest assured that this is on our roadmap. When adding keywords to be tracked in local SEOs, it's important to sync them to applicable sources to help a business rank. Previously, up to three SEO keywords could be added via the business profile, and these would sync automatically if Listing Sync Pro or Listing Distribution was active. Soon, keywords added to the keyword tracking page will have a setting to sync on by default when Listing Sync Pro or Listing Distribution is enabled. For your clients that have local SEO Pro, we've expanded the number of keywords that can be synced to 15. This will be available next week. Task Manager streamlines the fulfillment of orders, whether these orders are for building a new website or the day-to-day -day management of a business's social media accounts. Navigating through what needs to be done should be easy, so we're simplifying the Task Manager interface. We're improving the settings menu and removing some unnecessary links to reduce clutter and make it easier for new users to find their way around. One of the first changes is the removal of the loop from the sidebar in Task Manager. You can still find it up in the top navigation bar beside Inbox. More changes will be coming gradually over the next few months. A great group of improvements to look forward to. We'll be back next week with new releases. Until next time.